BTK is, is, is a staggering organisation uh, because it chose to make itself into an organisation. Nobody told that group of companies to be an organisation. There are nearly 40 companies in BTK and they all understand each other very well. They complement each other, they support each other. And they've got an organisation which gets the best out of that sort of a networking association. Small companies are intimate. Small companies are very focused. There is a product or a range of products. There are people who believe passionately in those products. Very often because an individual or a tiny group of individuals has actually created the product. It's their dream. So when it comes to moving customers, getting customers passionate about their products, small companies do it better than anybody. You can go to one place and find out everything you need to know about all these companies. It is literally a one-stop shop. But because of the diversity of the companies involved, they all have their distinctive character. Export opportunities are what the Defence and Security Organisation is all about. So we believe that anything that brings the best out of small companies in their endeavours to export has to be good for the United Kingdom. BTK is one of the best examples I know of initiative by small companies to come together to punch above their weight. I think that the cohesiveness of BTK is another of its distinctive qualities. This is a group of people that's got to know each other pretty well. When you go to a BTK event, it feels as though you're among friends. And these guys know each other well. So when it comes to helping each other out, they're actually at the top of their game. You can tell there is a lot of mutual support at work at any BTK event, whether it's in the development of new products or actually combining to make a deeper impact on a prospective customer than would be the case if one company was operating on its own. You have to gain critical mass if you want to get the support of an organisation like the Army or the Defence and Security Organisation, which are generally used to working with significant numbers of people. BTK brings that critical mass to its companies and also has the relationship with the Defence and Security Organisation, which allows DSO to support BTK in a way that's acceptable to BTK and actually, in my opinion, brings out the best of BTK when they're on display at a place like Lark Hill, which is really like a small defence exhibition. One of the distinctive features of BTK is that it brings together in one place a very diverse group of companies. That's what I call the ethos of BTK. It's diversity but unity at the same time. And when you're talking to the companies inside BTK, you are very often talking to the person who had the dream. It's not often that we talk about passion in business. If you want an example of this, go see BTK. These are people who are so deeply involved in what they do, who believe so completely in the worth of their products that it is contagious in the best possible sense. Their ideas, their dreams actually get inside the minds of their prospective customers. I can't think of a more powerful way of managing exports for the United Kingdom in the small and medium enterprise zone.